Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. I'm back in my Let's Play series. I don't know quite what series number this is, but we're on this account one more time. Nothing, no one can attack me. So first we need to take down the Boom Cannon. Boom Cannon, always the issue. Always take down the Boom Cannon first in bases when you're using the strategy at this level. Rocket Launcher is also an issue, so take down both of them. Um, and yeah, we're gonna pull off a victory. Hopefully we won't lose any troops that mortar Hopefully won't do anything, but yes, it didn't do anything Well, let's drop an artillery on the HQ finish that off and boom it goes down our troops are OP They're strong they're amazing. We're gonna go back to our home Let's do dr. Terry or dr. T or whatever you want to call him stage number two the whole dr. T thing didn't catch on I don't think like I, I see what they're trying to do, but it, like they said, it's a fictional game and a fictional, it's a game. And does it matter? I don't think so. But that was their choice to make, and it doesn't affect too many people. Um, but I don't know. I just don't know if it was the smartest decision because, like, Dr. T or Dr. Terror was, like, so well known. Like, people knew who he was, people knew who he looked like, and then it just changed him. Um,. So, I don't know. I would have kept him, but it's okay. It's only a fictional game, so I don't think it was taking too much effects on the world. So, here we go. We just beat Dr. T stage number two. We got an intel, which is nice. We're just going to jump on to terror stage number three or Dr. T. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. Here we go. Always take down the rocket launchers first. Rocket launchers are always first. And then boom, cannons. I think I'm not that good of a strategy so don't take my word on it but that's what I always always taught when I was using the strat so there's a cannon sniper towers we're just gonna get a double hit here take down those we're gonna place a shot here and we're gonna place a barrage here place that Oh gosh, I'm gonna lose a few here. Place a shock. Okay. Um, other than that, the mortar will fire. <clears throat> the mortar will fire at my Zookas here, and we will be able to take down the base. And luckily, the mortar won't kill any of my troops. And I got troops spread out everywhere, but we were able to secure a victory with only three heavies lost, which is okay. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It could have went down a lot worse, if you know what I mean. Okay, we're going to scout this one. Probably won't be able to beat it. No, too many rocket launchers. Okay, here we go. We're just going to jump into some player bases and let's kill some players. This guy's level 39. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I already scouted this guy. I already scouted this guy. And I think this guy was online the other day, last episode. So we're going to attack him and hopefully secure a victory. We need to take down the boom cannon. And we'll place an artillery on it. Good, good, good. And then we're gonna deploy our troops over here. Should have deployed my deployed my Zookas first, but I kinda forgot. And we're gonna do a flare up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down for my diagonal attack. So we're gonna go down on the residences and then go down. So the only cannon that's gonna be in range is that one by the mortar right there. You need to sniper tower. All the other cannons I will avoid. Um, so if I went like from the side here, they would have spread out. That cannon would have been in range and it would have been very, very bad. But the way I'm doing it is I'm flanking the base and I'm going to go in a diagonal path. And that's going to help me just clear the entire base. And they're going to stay in line. They're not going to spread out too much. And you'll see here, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you once these guys move in. We're going to take down the cannon here to artillery. The only problem with the mortars, because when my heavies move, the mortar fires and it kills my Zookas, if that happens. So as you see here, they're not spreading out too badly. Um, they are spreading out maybe a little too much, but they're going to stay fairly intact and fairly in a good line, a good straight line. And we should be able to secure a victory. And we're going to place a, sh a shot here. As soon as that sniper tower goes down, 
We're gonna fly to the HQ. And we're gonna be able to secure the victory. Now I know what you're saying, all these cannons are in range. Well, they're not in range with my Zookas. And I'm pretty sure that would have been the best choice to do. And I didn't lose barely any troops. Only three heavies again, which is good. So we're just gonna gym up these heavies. Huka is not a good strategy for clearing your map. Like, it's a good strategy for defeating high-level bases, but for clearing your map, it's just not a good idea because there's just so much. Uh, you'll lose a lot of troops, and then you need to use a lot of diamonds to retrain them. Just not a good idea at all. So, we're gonna take down the cannon there. Place a barrage here to take down some of these mines. Just in case the heavies don't take down the mines, it will... The Zookas will be able to take down the mines. Um, we don't want the Zookas at the mines, that's what I meant to say. And we're just going to move into the base. Some of them are going to spread out a little, but that's fine. And as soon as both of these mortars fire, we're going to do a flare here. Flare to the HQ. We'll do a shock. That was a little bad. A little too late, uh, but we were able to get them all in a line here. We're going to place a couple med kits just to heal them up. And we were able to secure another victory. And we only lost like, what, four, three, five, he four heavies? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, no casualties. Nice. <laughs> okay, we're gonna scout Capo and see if we can beat Capo. Who knows? Will we? I don't know. See, guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. Boom Beach is getting so hard to record with. Like, there's nothing fun to do in Boom Beach. Honestly, like, that's just my opinion, you know? And I'm just struggling a lot to make videos. And you guys might have t you guys might have realized that from the last couple of videos. It's just not fun to play Boom Beach. Um, feels like a job now. I just have to play Boom Beach. But, you know, like... After this new update, it's going to be insane. It's going to be so fun. I'm going to record a lot more. Um, we might even get two Boom Beach videos out. And a Clash Royale video. That would be nice. Two. That would be a lot. I don't know. Can't promise you anything. It's just, you know, it's just getting very, very hard for me to record right now. And I don't know if it's like this for Jimmy also. It probably is. Just Boom Beach isn't fun. That's why we haven't been streaming Boom Beach that's why we haven't been playing too much Boom Beach. But I will play a lot more once the update comes out. I'll probably I'm trying to max out my main base before the update, but I'm just not. I'm lacking, so I probably not gonna happen. Like I have two more sniper towers, I guess. Two more sniper towers, I think. And a few machine gun no, I'm all done with my machine guns. I only have sniper towers and flame left. And yeah. I'm gonna flare to the HQ here, drop a med kit, just try to do a brute force attack. Losing a lot of troops, but we will be able to secure this victory because this brute force attack is amazing. So yes, I have like two sniper towers and then like three flame. And the update comes out in less than 10 days. Uh, no, yeah, eight days. Update comes out from the day I'm recording this over the day after this. Seven days, a one week for you guys. The update comes out. Um... So, that's if my, my calendar math is all good. I suck at calendar math. Um, okay, yeah. So, I'm, I'm super pumped. I'm super excited for this update. I'm going to play a lot more once it comes out. I'm not playing too much now, but as soon as it comes out, I'm going to be playing a lot more. Um, let's see, two sniper towers they take. So if I play every day and I upgrade something, I should be able to finish it. Or I'll be like in the middle of upgrading something when the update comes out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, my builder open for when the update drops. We're going to do one more attack here. I'm going to have my builder open for when the update drops. Because there might be a new building. And if there is, I'm going to gym it up for you guys. So you guys can see some gameplay of it. Um, and if there isn't a new building, then I'll just keep upgrading stuff. But I'm going to try to get max loot the day before just in case because loot is a pain to max. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, loot is a pain to buy in Boom Beach. Like, it costs so much to upgrade something in Boom Beach. So, it's going to be awesome when the update drops, <laughs> finally. 
Um, I'm glad it's not cl like Clash of Clans where they announced the update like two months earlier. And then they took like two months to release the update. But that was because of Clash Con, I guess. But anyway. Gonna be playing a lot more once the update comes out. That's the moral of the story. And that was bad. Look at all bazookas got wounded. And blah, 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 blah. And we're gonna heal up Zookas here because I'm kind of scared. If they hit one mine, they're all dead. Okay. And... Should we brute force it? As soon as that mortar goes down, because the mortars are a pain to take out. Now we're gonna brute force it. We're gonna drop a couple med kits. I love doing the brute force attack. You're like, you clear half the base of them and you just brute force it and you take it down. And hopefully I'll be able to, yeah, I'll be able to beat this because I'm getting off after this battle. And it doesn't matter if I lose a big army. Usually you don't want to do that when you're map clearing, but anyway, can't wait for the update to drop. We don't know quite what it is. I have a couple ideas. I don't, like, on a scale from 1 to 10, how sure I am for a new building will be released, not very sure at all. I seriously doubt that a new building will be released. Can we build up this land of craft? No. I am, like, not, like, maybe a 3 or a 4, so 40% sure that a new building will come out. But I hope a new building does come out because I need something else to upgrade. Um, I don't think that the new building will be like for max town halls or max HQ21 only. Um, because I think that they're going to release it maybe a little sooner for other people. So it will probably have something to do with a new event or of a crab or something. Um, so... Chances are it has something to do with this. Eight days. So tomorrow will be seven days. Yeah. Um, I am pumped, though. <laughs> the Boom Beach timer that they sent to YouTubers. That is... Should we upgrade that? I don't know. Or I, I, I'll just do another land grab. Yeah. That costs a lot. So, um, the thing they sent to the YouTubers, it was like... When I grab gold, I'm going to upgrade something. It was, it ended like a day before this, so like it would be six days from now. And I, I have a feeling that's when the update's going to drop, but the new event isn't going to going to be coming out till the day after, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, how much will it cost to uh, buy those? 38, we're going to do it, because 38 is not a lot at all. And I did not do that. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, thank you all for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, as always. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.